In this new Google Sites tutorial, we're going to quickly cover how to save your Google Site. Now, classic users know that any changes you make to the site, you have to commit to those changes by hitting save. In fact, you can't exit the editing mode without hitting save. Well, that's not the case in new sites. In new sites, much like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slideshow, anything that you do is automatically being saved. So here on my homepage, if I were to delete this section and delete this section and then insert a YouTube video about geometry and then close the tab. Well, that's all been saved for me. So if I reopen the site, I see that all those changes were committed to. So that begs the question, what if I make a lot of mistakes? Well, having closed the window, I have completely committed to the changes that I've made. But perhaps I'm editing the site and I make a lot of changes that I don't like. So I delete my new video, I delete this, I insert an image, and then I stop and I look at it and I say, wow, yeah, these were some bad changes. I should probably not keep these changes. Well, they've already happened and the site's already saved what's going on. If you need to undo something that you've done, you can go up to this undo last action and you can take back the changes that you have made. Now keep in mind, it only saves the actions that you've done in your particular, uh, let's call it a session. So if I were to close the tab again and then reopen sites in another tab, um, it would restart my session as it were. So you have to be mindful of that as you're working on the site that everything you're doing is being saved um, as you do it. And that you do have access to these undo and redo tools. So you can step forward and backward through the actions that you have done in your current editing session. And that covers saving a Google site in new Google Sites.